everyone. Very happy Teachers' Day and greetings to everyone present here. I would like to start the event firstly by this one rather mundane quote I had read by Thursgood Marshall, which stated, None of us got where we are solely by pulling ourselves up by our bootstraps. We got here because somebody, a parent, a teacher, a mentor, who bent down and helped us to pick up our boots. Indeed, there is always someone for each of us who comes into our mind this day, to whom we fell heartily indebted, to our teachers. And you respected faculty present here today are that person for someone out there. So today, I, Stuti Singh, heartily welcome you all to this auspicious gathering. And I feel delighted to be given the opportunity to take you through this event on the joyous occasion of Teachers' Day. Let us hear a great round of applause for, for all of you, our respected faculty, who continue to change lives with your immaculate efforts. We shall begin this eventful celebration by owning the institution that brought us all together. Please rise for the Kul Geet of Guru Gobind Singh in the Prasthi University. to light. The beginning of this celebration shall be marked by lighting of lamp in the glory of Almighty and as a symbol of significance of teachers in our lives. For this, I would like to invite Honorable Vice Chancellor Sir, along with our respected Chief Guest of the Day, Ms. Reema Ghosh and Honorable Registrar Ma'am to inaugurate the event by lighting the lamp. Astu ma sadgame, tamso ma jyotir game, mrityur ma amritam game. From ignorance, lead me to truth. From darkness, lead me to light. 
from death lead me to him. I invite on stage a performance that shall take your hearts away. A Kathak performance that truly imbibes the spirit of teacher-student relationship and the dedication that binds them together. Two tombs, two names, their stories, the saints and the poet, the murshid and the murid, the two halves of each moment. Khusro Nizam ke bal bal jaiye. With these words, let us welcome Sapan Saloni on stage, along with Ashok sir on percussion and Jagdish sir as vocalist, presented by Rasrang under the rapporteur of USHSS. Let us give them a great round of applause.
potential is so immense that hardly anyone is untouched by it. Our nation has always valued and revered the bond between the student and the teacher, and we have given this the highest regard. To convey this message, we have a small poem presented by Shubham Shukla, who has written it himself for all of you teachers. Let's welcome him. Hi everyone, I am Subham Shukla, a first year student at USLLS GGSIPU. On this auspicious occasion of Teachers Day, I am here to recite a poem on teachers, on those teachers who direct our life, on those teachers who are like road, those who, say, those who pass by achieve everything in life. So my poem starts here. In this student's journey of zero to hero, teachers competently use their view. They are effectuating renunciation to take us to our craved station. When we are delayed in catching our bus, they accord the impetus. When there is any disquietude in our sight, they give us a new ray of light. When they lay out information of prodigious, it is called monologue bias. When we subtly do loo falls, they have to take plausible calls. For Teachers Day, we have waited. Teachers need to be imitated. A student may become a gem, but would be a child in front of them. We have no right to rate. They are articulate. Around them, we need not to find rhyme. They are sublime. We used to move in hive. They know how many beans make five. Their knowledge is not furled, they are out of this world. For other marvelous teachers, we need not to rest because our all teachers are super califragilistic, expialidocious. Thank you. <laughs> Happy Teachers Day, everyone. How beautifully said. So our next performance is a beautiful musical compilation that is light-hearted, fun-filled, and joyous. The Music Society of GGSIPU Swar shall be presenting before you a performance which is for surely make you sing along. Let us welcome Swar members with a round of applause. Hey Brahma, Yeah. 
सुपर सुपर फैबुलस आउटस्टैंडिंग नहीं ऐसे नहीं खुल के बोलिए कैसा लगा लगा कैसा ऐसा लगा कि जैसे कोई गणपति विसर्जन में नाच रहा है डांस में भी क्लास होता है पर मैं तो सिक्स क्लास से ऐसे डांस कर रहा हूं आज तक किसी ने कंप्लेन नहीं किया नोबडी कंप्लेन क्लास से मतलब मेरा है स्टाइल स्टाइल ये देख के रहा अच्छा आशु स्टाइल of teachers day and in the view of all round success of our country we must remember that it is only due to a teacher's effort and a student's dedication a missed education that today our nation is marching towards success in all spheres whether it be the coach of the gold winner javelin thrower neeraj chopra who was clapping from the stands to see his student win or a science teacher who teaches about planets to young children and watching them grow to see up india make history and aditya l1 after all as joyce meyer said teachers can change lives with just the right mix of chalk and challenges it is said that the seeds of success in every nation of earth are best planted in women and children today amidst the revered pool of faculty that we have us among us a visionary and pioneer is here with us who had also once been a teacher she led a dream that not only one but 1 billion eyes of this country saw together to fruition the dream to conquer the moon and today india has made history by becoming the first country ever to make a soft landing on the south pole of moon which would not have been possible without her profound contribution 
I proudly welcome among us our chief guest of the day, Ms. Reema Ghosh, an eminent scientist at ISRO and the member of the team that made the nation proud, a member of the Chandrayaan team. Our chief guest of the day is a renowned scientist and we are so proud to have us with, have her, her with us today. Before we start and move ahead, I invite all the dignitaries on the stage, respected Ms. Reema Ghosh ma'am, respected Vice Chancellor Sir, and Director of DSW Ms. Manpreet Kaur ma'am to be present here. Let us welcome her on stage with a round of applause everyone. Presenting a floral welcome. Before we proceed further, I invite Ms. Manpreet Kaur Kang, Director DSW, to deliver the welcome address for today's occasion. Please, ma'am. Thank you, Stuti. Good morning, everyone, and a very happy Teacher's Day to everybody present here. On behalf of the Directorate of Students' Welfare, I extend a very warm welcome to everyone who's joined us in Teacher's Day celebrations today. Acknowledges the contribution of teachers in shaping the young minds of our nation, thus paving the way for a bright future for our country. It is difficult to enumerate in how many ways, different ways, teachers make a difference to the students' lives. Sometimes after years, when students come back and tell us how they were motivated or how a small incident made such a difference to their lives, it is indeed very heartening. <clears throat> On behalf of the university, I am very happy and privileged to welcome our chief guest for the day, Ms. Reema Ghosh, scientist from ISRO, who has come all the way to be here with us on this happy occasion. Ma'am, you and your team have ignited the minds of young Indians and created in them a belief that not even the sky is the limit for them. You have made all the Indians proud of your achievement Chandrayaan and Pragyan have become familiar terms for all Indians. We are very happy indeed to have you with us today. I welcome our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Padmashri Professor Dr. Mahesh Verma, whose dedication and drive to take our university to great heights is commendable. We've grown in confidence and stature under your able guidance, sir. I also welcome the Registrar, Ms. Sunita Shiva, whose dedication to the university is commendable. Despite all odds, she works tirelessly for the university. I welcome the OST to the Vice Chancellor, Sri D.P. Dvivedi ji, retired IS officer, a seasoned and experienced officer who is an asset to the university. I welcome all the deans and directors of the university who work with great dedication to carry the flag of their schools and centers with pride. I welcome the Controller of Finance, Special Officer Finance, Controllers of Examination, who ensure the smooth functioning of the university. I welcome all the officers and staff members of the university. Your contribution and hard work need special mention. And I must welcome, above all, our beloved students present here. You are the ones who motivate us to put in our best. Your faith, trust, and affection for us make us strive harder. And now I warmly welcome all my dear colleagues, the teachers of this university, whose contribution to our university is multifaceted, immeasurable, and priceless. Let's celebrate this day together and also reflect on the way forward for us. Our profession needs constant revisiting to stay relevant to the young minds we interact with and influence. Once again, a heartfelt welcome to everyone present here. Thank you. Chancellor Sir, Padmashri awarded Professor Dr. Mahesh Verma to address today's gathering. Chancellor 
chief guest for today's function, Madam Reema Ghosh, Director, Student Welfare, Professor Manpreet Kang, and her team, Associate Directors Vandana and uh, Gaurav Talan, our uh, OSD, Shri D.P. Devedi Ji, and uh, uh, Madam Sunita Shiva, Registrar, just joined, joined us. <coughs> And I see beautiful faces, lovely uh, deans, directors, faculty, staff, students, ladies and gentlemen. At the outset, uh, I think our chief guests uh, truly deserve a big round of applause. <laughs> and uh, on behalf of our university and on my personal behalf, uh, let me extend a very, very warm welcome to you, Madam. We are very proud of uh, you and uh, the entire team uh, for uh, whatever uh, achieved we have, India has achieved. And in fact, uh, today India has become sinosur, sinosur of the entire world. Everybody is looking at India. Uh, you know, they're looking at Moon, and simultaneously they're also looking at India. So it's a great moment for you and. Uh, to you and your entire team, Shat Sat Pranam. And also now, uh, uh, it's a very jubilant, very happy, uh, and a very uh, exciting day, as we all know, that uh, Teacher's Day today. And in fact, you know, I was thinking that we are lucky that we have Doctor's Day, we have Teacher's Day. There are many professions, though they don't have a day. So, so we are really privileged that uh, you know at this day is so so important and so prominent, and uh, we are all gathered here uh, to celebrate and honor the contribution of the entire teacher community, not only within the our campus, but I think all across, and uh, uh, also truly recognizing that what teachers can. Uh, do uh, to the community, to the individuals, to the nation. And uh, at this occasion, I let me begin by expressing my deepest gratitude, my appreciation uh, to all our dedicated faculty uh, members who are present here, teachers, and uh, uh, for their uh, tremendous efforts, tireless efforts uh, in imparting, imparting knowledge, uh, inspiring curiosity among students and also fostering the love for learning among our students, everybody, stakeholders. And I truly, I believe that your uh, commitment, your passion uh, is truly commendable because it is your efforts that are uh, alma mater, the great uh, Guru Gobind Singh Dhapas University is uh, striving, driving and thriving. So big round of applause to all of you. It's said that uh, institutions are not made by walls. Uh, we all know that. Anybody can build great walls. Institutions are built by the HR, the teacher, the staff, the students. And uh, we are young university. Uh, I think we are Yuva, and we are going towards Yavan. So you know that when we upgrade from Yuva to Yavan, you know, you, you're full of energy, full of mercy you know, full of uh, excitement, ready to do, and I'm sure uh, in the years to come, our university will have a greater, uh, greater laurels, greater uh, performance, and all uh, credit goes to you. I think that we were also a teacher. If we are a teacher, we were also a teacher. And wherever we have reached, we are probably the most important part of the teacher. तो आज आइए हम उनको भी नमन करते हैं, उनको भी वंदन करते हैं और सबसे पहले हमारे शिक्षक कौन थे? हमारे माता-पिता उन्होंने हमें पहला फर्स्ट स्टेप चलना सिखाया, पहला बोल बोलना सिखाया। सो आई थिंक उन्होंने हमें सिखाया संस्कार, हमारे नैतिकता, व्यवहार जो हमने बचपन से सीखे हैं और तो उनको भी हम याद करते हैं उनमें से कुछ इस संसार में हैं कुछ स्वर्ग में हैं 
उन, उनको भी हम नमन करते हैं वो भी हमारे बहुत परम पूज्य हमारे श्रद्धे वो टीचर्स हैं शिक्षक हैं और आज हम आ, हमारा आ, आज हम शिक्षक दिवस के रूप में हम उनको भी याद करें शिक्षक उसके जो अंदाज बयान कुछ खास है शिक्षक जो है आ, उसके कई रूप है कई श्रेणियां है अक्सर मैं आप कहता हूं कि जो शिक्षक है उसमें बहुत सारी यूनिक एबिलिटीज है एंड आई आई नो ऑल ऑफ यू आर इंडोर्ड विद एबिलिटीज दोज एट्रीब्यूट और उसके जो हेरिटेज उसके जो एक्सप्रेशन है वो डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स में टीचर जो सिर्फ इंफॉर्मेशन देता है वो अध्यापक है यू नो पाठशाला में जो एक आपको अध्याय पढ़ाता है वो अध्यापक है ना सिर्फ वो अध्याय पढ़ाता है और अध्याय के साथ आपको थोड़ी और इंफॉर्मेशन देता है वो उपाध्याय उससे इससे इधर दे ऑल्सो है हिरार की इधर नहीं वो उपाध्याय है और द वन हु गिव्स यू स्किल वो आचार्य है यू नो योगाचार्य इधर नहीं ही टीचेस यू स्किल सो दैट्स ए योगाचार्य एंड द वन हु गिव्स यू डीप इनसाइड मच बियॉन्ड यू नो ज्ञानी जिसे हम कहते हैं वो पंडित है पंडित नॉट इन टर्म्स ऑफ एनी अदर वे बट पंडित मीन्स ही नोज इट ऑल यू नो पंडित वी वेन मेनी many a time we refer to somebody who oh, is a pandit is pandit of such so that is pandi pandit and the one who is visionary who thinks beyond uh dur drishti wala usse hum kehte hain drishta is it wo drishta hai jo you can think who can visualize much beyond and the one who awakens you uh who awakens you who gives you wisdom who uh, takes you Uh, from darkness to light and that is guru isn't it and hamari sanskriti mein kehte hai na ki aapka aapko aapka tabhi aap swarg lok mein jayenge agar aapne koi guru ko dhara hai aur aapne dekha hoga ki gaon mein bhi jo jo bahut zyada padhe likhe log nahi hote unka bhi koi guru hota hai aur not necessary ki guru ko bahut zyada gyan hona chahiye kai bar aap kuch karna chahte hai उसको सिर्फ अफॉर्मेटिव में करने के लिए भी आपको गुरु चाहिए यू नीड समी और और यू नो गुरु को बहुत बहुत तरीके से हमारे देश में माना गया है उसे उसका दर्जा दिया गया है उसे मास्टर भी कहते हैं प्राध्यापक भी कहते हैं उस्ताद कहते हैं प्रवक्ता कहते हैं विशेषज्ञ कहते हैं ट्यूटर कहते हैं मार्गदर्शक कहते हैं द्विज कहते हैं बुद्ध और धीमान बुद्धिमान ये सब कहते हैं ये क्यों ऐसा कहा गया क्योंकि जो शिक्षक है उसमें इतने सारे गुण हैं यू नो जो हम हम जो वी आर रियली प्रिवलेज दैट वे बिकॉज वी हैव ऑल ऑल डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ डायमेंशन ऑफ अ टीचर एंड चाहे वो गाइड हो चाहे वो मेंटर हो तो बट वेरी You know, very uh, uh, the scenario is totally different today. जो परिभाषा है वो गुरु की बदल गई क्योंकि आज एक कंप्यूटर भी गुरु है क्योंकि वो भी आपको सिखाता है यू नो बहुत सारी चीजें आप बच्चों से सीखते हैं और आपके जूनियर से सीखते हैं कि वो मुझे लगता है कि वो 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 जो आ, उसकी परिभाषा है जो एक ट्रेडिशनल परिभाषा थी गुरु की या टीचर की वो शायद बदल गई है और आ, इसमें कोई अतिशयोक्ति नहीं है कि आज मैं अपने स्टूडेंट से सीखता हूं वो बहुत कुछ तो कहीं ना कहीं वास्तव में वो भी मेरा एक गुरु है वो भी मेरा एक शिक्षक है टुडे एजुकेशन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस वी ऑल नो वी आर गैदर्ड हियर बिकॉज बहुत से गुण बहुत सी दक्षता जो हम में है वो पूरे इस इको को बनाते हैं और मैं यहाँ बहुत सारे हमारे सपोर्टिंग स्टाफ है नॉन टीचिंग स्टाफ है वो भी एक किस्म के शिक्षक है क्योंकि अगर उस वो हमें साथ ना दें तो हमारी जो दक्षता है जो हमारी हमारी जो एबिलिटी है वो निखर के नहीं आए तो कहीं ना कहीं जो इस इको सिस्टम में सब लोग हैं चाहे वो एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन में है चाहे वो नॉन टीचिंग में वो भी वो भी सब किसी ना किसी रूप में शिक्षक है और ये हमारा एक फंडामेंट फंडामेंटल हमें इंटरेस्टेड एक रोल दिया गया है जो ताकि हम 
नॉलेज क्रिएट कर सके उसको इवॉल्व कर सके और जो कैपेबिलिटीज है बच्चों की उसको बढ़ा सके बट कई बार दुख होता है ना कि आज जो आइडेंटिटी है टीचर्स की वो बदल रही पुराने जमाने में क्या होता था गुरुकुल था है ना बच्चा गुरुकुल में जाता था और बड़ा होकर निकलता था यू नो इंडोर विद ऑल द बट आजकल क्या है गुरुकुल की जगह बन गया गुरुकुल उसमें कूल गुरु भी कूल है और बच्चा भी कूल है डैडी कूल है भी हर्ड ऑफ तो तो ऐसे कहा जाता है कि माँ जन्म देती है और गुरु जीवन देता है है ना ये इसमें इसमें सच्चाई है और बट शायद हम वैसे से प्रभावित हैं मैं पहली बार जब अमेरिका गया वो कम से कम तीस पैंतीस साल पहले की बात है तो मेरे मैं बड़ा मुझे पता लगा कि स्टूडेंट्स जो हैं अपने टीचर को पहले नाम से बुला रहे और और कॉलेज बंद होने के बाद दे बोथ गो टू द सेम पब एंड एंजॉय द सेम ड्रिंक यू नो इट वाज वेरी एम्बेसिंग एंड आई आल्सो फाउंड के स्टूडेंट जो है क्लास में बैठ के खा भी रहे हैं और वो कोक भी पी रहे हैं तो बड़ा अजीब बिकॉज यू नो फॉर रस इट वॉज ऑलवेज ए इनडिसिप्लिन सो आई थिंक कहीं ना कहीं uh, हम वेस्ट से प्रभावित हुए हैं और हमारा इसकी वजह से जो हमारा रिलेशनशिप है वो बदल गया है मैं आपको एक छोटा सा uh, किस्सा बताना चाहता हूँ कि uh, मैं जब मेडिकल कॉलेज में था तो एक हमारे टीचर होते थे और वो अक्सर बच्चों को एक चीज कहते थे पढ़ लो पढ़ लो नहीं तो डर है यूं ही पास हो जाओगे यू नो उसमें इसमें बहुत बड़ी देखो मतलब वेरी बिग स्टेटमेंट इन दैट कि आप पास तो हो जाओगे पर आप करोगे क्या तो ये इसमें डर है तो पढ़ यू नो दैट वॉज अ वेरी इंपोर्टेंट स्टेटमेंट मेड एट दैट डाई आई विच वी प्रॉब्ली वी मेड फन ऑफ हिम बट टूडे वेन आई लुक बैक एन आई ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड it had a great meaning so i think today uh, you know uh, 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 the young lady said guru gobind dono khade kaise lagu paaye to main to yahi kehta hu balihar apne jinhone number diye dilaye balihar ye apne jinhone bina padhe pass karwaye to to kahin na kahin paribhasha badal gayi hai but uh, uh, जैसे इन्होंने गुरु स्त्रोत्रम के बाद बात करी उसी तरह से एक नागार्जुना का भी सूत्र है नागार्जुना एक बुद्धिस्ट बहुत बुद्धिस्ट स्कॉलर हुए हैं पुराने जमाने में और उनकी जो शिक्षा है वो मिडिल पाथ यू नो आज हम मिडिल पाथ की ओर जा रहे हैं कि एक्सट्रीम से नॉ लेफ्ट एंड राइट वॉट इज बेस्ट विच इज मिडिल पाथ और उन्होंने कहा था शिक्षण श्रेणितम रिदा शिष उन्होंने कहा था कि शिक्षा जो है टीचर जो टीचिंग इज अ नोबलेस्ट प्रोफेशन एंड रेस्ट डजेंट मैटर सी इट वॉज अ वेरी 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 स्ट्रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट मेड एट दैट टाइम दैट यू नो बियॉन्ड टीचिंग देर इज नथिंग देर इज शून्य यू नो देर इज बियॉन्ड टीचिंग देर इज नथिंग यू नो इट्स ऑल देर इज नो वर्ल्ड बियॉन्ड टीचिंग so uh but you know uh, yes and i said that this was the this was uh, this was said long time back but you know we do understand that we are losing sheen now and relevance in today's time and uh, but still we are very privileged do you think that we have to make an effort we cannot just take it lying down we all have to make an effort to change this uh, skewed skewed relationship uh, student teacher relationship and uh, why why because our success is not judged by the harvest we reap but the seeds we plant isn't it don't you think that some of your students come back to you after donkey's years and tell you ma'am i've reached there i'm here and so and so and you feel so proud you know isn't it so uh, we have uh, you know our uh, success is that uh, sometimes we try to judge our success instantly immediately instantaneously but our success is very long lasting you know uh, to be felt after uh, much long and teachers can touch minds and hearts of students 
and also life skills develop holistically. And that's what NEP is for, that we don't just want to teach them whatever is your domain or subject. We want to go, we want to go, uh, we want to go uh, uh, much beyond that. So, you know, that is the reason. Because of all this, you know, we are still, as a professional, we are held in a great esteem, isn't it? Today, you tell anybody you are a professor, he starts looking at you differently. The same way, like you tell somebody you are a doctor, they start looking at you differently. Uh, so, uh, the another reason, reason is that teaching is a uh, constant interpretation and a reinterpretation of experiences, isn't it? So today, uh, lessons learned by teachers make questions for study, for students, which online cannot do. You know, many of try that, why do I need a teacher? Because teachers also have failures, teachers also have experiences, and they share that, don't do this way, you're not going to do that, which, you know, without a teacher cannot happen. And everybody can sit at home and read books, and, you know, today everything is possible, but uh, our failures, you know, uh, become success story for them. Because we teach, tell them, oh, this is, don't get into that. You know, this is not going to get, uh, get you the right on top. So only a teacher can remove confusion between knowledge and learning. See, everybody can have gain a knowledge. Knowledge, you know, you read a book, you can gain a knowledge. But what you want, you want to be a learner. And that can only happen when a teacher removes that confusion between, between knowledge and learner. But uh, as I said, the landscape is fading, it's becoming more fuzzy, and you know, I'm, you know, sometimes we feel it a little disturbed that uh, today students also think teacher is like a provider, and uh, teacher also think the student is like a consumer. It's like a consumer, and I paid for a fee, and he taught me, and nothing beyond. You know, I think uh, somehow I I feel that in olden time when we were students, a teacher didn't know anything. But he was still a teacher. You met him after many, many years. You still, you know, bowed in front of him. You touch his feet because whatever it is, see, everybody cannot be same. Everybody cannot be super brilliant, isn't it? There is always a gradient. And but by virtue of his position, by virtue of his standing, and you, uh, you know, which is at a lower level, I think he des he deserves all that applause, all that uh, uh, accolade. So, uh, I just now I think the young lady said uh, that we are uh, heading, we are heading entire, uh, you know, we are heading for, uh, uh, you know, bigger things. And you know that 20, 2047, we are determined to be a developed country in the next 25 years, isn't it? How is that going to happen? That's going to happen because of the teachers, the bright teachers and brilliant students. Isn't it? Unless that happens, it will not happen. It cannot happen. So who's who's got that onus? We got that onus. It's our responsibility, isn't it? Uh, you know, it's always said that uh, it, that uh, our country is as good as its citizens, and so the citizens are citizens are as good as their teachers, isn't it? So so probably uh, you know so our role becomes all the more all the more uh, important. And a great deal depends on you teachers, because in spite of all the challenges, you know, as uh, she said that uh, uh, she used the C for challenges and one more word, chalk and challenges, you know. She was using chalk and challenges. Uh, unfortunately, the chalk is missing these days, but challenges are still many, you know, they are around. So, you know, in spite of all the challenges, and I'm not just telling you, but I think all across our teacher community, I salute all of you for your passion, for your dedication, for your commitment, and, and your contribution. You know, and it is evident, isn't it? It's a, uh, it's a teacher only who can see a statue in a block of stone. You, you know, you can always spot. Oh, this guy has got a brilliance. He's got a brilliance. So I better uh, uh, nurture him. I better uh, uh, prepare him. You know, uh, so. It's only a teacher who can ignite that spark, isn't it? I want to tell you one thing. I'm sorry I'm taking a little bit of time. I joined uh, dentistry in 1976. And I joined uh, five months late. My batch had already started. Uh, I went 
five months later. I was the last to join. We were a batch of 30. And uh, I came from a village, didn't know anything. So I was very uh, kind of, uh, uh, I had a very low esteem. I used to sit in the last this thing. I couldn't understand. It was a new environment. And uh, uh, I couldn't understand the diction. I did not know English also. So I couldn't communicate with my own classmates. I was the only outsider in the class. The rest all were, 29 were local. So I had heen bhavna, some, something, that I couldn't, I can't talk, I can So I started sitting in the back of the class and I also started bunking classes. I mean, I wouldn't go sometimes. Because I somehow felt very, uh, but you know, what happened, we had a first terminal. First terminal. And uh, the question paper came, and whatever the questions, I knew, I missed some. Whatever I attempted, oh, I had fantastic marks. And so in the viva, uh, when there was a viva, we, in the anatomy we used to have a heart uh, tissue viva and a soft tissue viva, bones and the muscles. So we used to go to different tables. And, so the teacher of mine, Subhadra, I, I hope she's still alive, she, she told me only one thing. That, uh, you know, she asked, you've done very well in your theory, whatever, but whatever you attempted, you've done very well. But you've missed a lot of it. But I want to ask you one question. Why do you sit back in the class? And that changed the entire life, entire life course of me. Entire. From that day onwards, I never sat in the last row, always in the front. And, uh, you know, so that probably changed just imagine a, a teacher who can put a spark, a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, a little bit of uh, uh, appreciation, how it can change a course of somebody's life. So I feel that we are all uh, in that position where we can, uh, we can do that uh, amongst our students. And uh, uh, again, let me take this opportunity to applaud uh, everybody here, present here, for the glory which you bring to our university. Uh, through all your uh, all your attributes and all your uh, contributions, you know that our university uh, is doing well. Uh, we, have, you know, in the recent times we've uh, gone through NAC and we've gone through. Uh, we have upgraded ourselves in among the top 75 uh, universities of the country. We are young, and I'm very sure we'll be much uh, there. And uh, also very happy that today uh, some uh, teachers are also getting. Uh, getting uh, awarded or uh, getting appreciated. You know, it rem appreciation it reminds me of a small thing. A little pat on our back takes Chandrayaan 3, you know. You, what, you know what happened in Chandrayaan 2? When it, there was a little error and the PM came and he patted Mr. Sivan, the chief of ISR1. That's how, you know, the team got uh, re-energized and that's how, uh, you know, we reached the moon. So appreciations are very important in li life. It uh, you know makes you do things which may not be possible otherwise. So uh, not only that, I think uh, it's very inspiring, very motivating, and in fact, it jumps it jump starts another phase in your life when you somebody gets recognized, appreciated. So uh, so I'm very happy that uh, some of our teachers are. Uh, who have done well are getting recognized and also some knack uh, those those of you teachers and some of our other uh, co-teachers I call them co-teachers because they also help us so they also helped us getting knack that uh, milestone for seven years so that they are also being recognized here uh, let me take this opportunity to thank again uh, Madam Reema Ghosh uh, you know it's not easy to come all the way from Bangalore so let's give her a Big another round of applause. And also, uh, our director, uh, Professor Manpreet Kaur, and our associate, Vandana, and Gaurav, you know, they've been always, and I, I'm very happy to see the hall uh, so full, uh, which is a rare sight sometimes, you know? <laughs> and also see Gulshan and everybody sitting on the, uh, on the stairs. Uh, I wish we could have arranged this program in a much bigger hall, but nevertheless, Congratulations. Happy Teacher's Day. Thank you. I take the grace to now welcome on stage our chief guest of the day, 
Ms. Reema Ghosh, esteemed scientist at ISRO. Ma'am hails from the land of West Bengal and she completed her high school from AD Church Asanul and intermediate from La Martinere for Girls, Kolkata. She obtained a degree in B.Tech in ECE from SSBT College, Maharashtra, followed by Masters in Control System from Jadavpur. Ma'am also served as a lecturer in Jalpaiguri Government Engineering College for three years. Ma'am joined ISRO in the year 2008 in UR Rao Satellite Center. Satellite Center. She is a part of the control design and dynamics team which is involved in the attitude control of the spacecraft. Presently, she is working in the area of rover, rover robotic technologies related to interplanetary rover exploration. She has worked in various aspects of exploratory rovers starting from autonomous path planning. Ma'am had worked as a part of NGC design team for Pragyan Chandrayaan-3 rover and her current responsibility includes project manager for Chandrayaan-3 rover and project manager for Gaganyaan, deputy project director for IDRSS and GSAT 22. Ma'am, these achievements count a lot and you have inspired billions of young minds like myself. So I invite you to kindly address the symposium today. start by thanking uh, the university for giving me this opportunity to come and present our talk today. Uh, actually, when I got this call from Vandana Madam, I was very much engrossed in Pragyan path planning. As you may have seen in media, uh, on 2nd September only we parked it. Before that, we were fully engrossed. It was like a, like a 24 bar 7, 12 days of uh, uh, racing the Pragyan rover across the lunar surface as much as we could. So when she called me, I didn't give it much of a thought. I said, ah, yeah, okay, fine, I will come and I'll come and talk. Then after second, when I am on the way flying from Bangalore to Delhi, I was like, now I have to say something. I have to think of something. I just said, just like that. I was so busy. So here I am with my scribbling pad, whatever I could think of on the flight. So, but right in the onset, I would like to say, uh, initially it was like, okay, you just go and give a talk. Then, when I sat down, I started writing what I should say. It was like a trip down the memory lane for me. As me, as a student, who were my teachers, how they shaped my futures, and how they have contributed to where I am today. So, I'm really, really thankful for this wonderful opportunity. It's not just me coming and telling something. It's a wonderful experience when you sit. See, when you have, uh, you, have uh, you have done with your academics, some 20 years down the line, you really don't sit and actively recall how were your school days, who was this teacher who scolded you, who was your favorite teacher, who were you scared of. So, it was a wonderful it's a wonderful thing when we sit and recall all our favorite teachers, how they shaped in taking the decision about our career. So I am always like, Teacher's Day is an ode to all these lovely teachers who are sitting here in front of me, how they have shaped us to become what we are today. So I will start my uh, short speech. Uh, okay, I don't have much to say about Teacher's Day. I think uh, I, will, I will just talk about my personal experience. And since I am, I have been part of Chandrayaan 3 team, so I just saw, thought okay, I will share my experience about, you would have seen all these images in Twitter. So I will just share my experience, the stories behind all these pictures, because I'm sure some of you may be really interested to find out what exactly happened, what all were done. So that is how my uh, short speech should be. So I will start first with the handle. It consumes itself to light the way for others. That is how all teachers are. More than teaching chapters from textbook, it is the character building qualities imparted like wisdom, patience, foresight, humility, which makes a student of today an honest and valuable citizen of this great nation. And as we see told her rightly, uh, in, if, in 19, uh, by, if by 2047 we want to be a developed country, then this is the right time for a teacher. This is where we are going to shape all the future generations. So it's a very big responsibility for all the teachers to step in and nurture all these bright minds to spot the potential in any of the student and encourage them to inspire them 
to ignite that uh, curiosity in them. Ki, yeah, why don't you think on these lines? This may be helpful. So this is a very, I think it's like a very crucial junction we are at. Ki, we play a very, all teachers play a very important role in shaping the next generation. So I can never under emphasize how much we a teacher, what a noble profession it is, and we are always forever grateful to all the teachers who have played, uh, we have, who have helped us in shaping our career. So now coming to my school experience, as uh, 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 I was, in, I was introduced. So when I think about all my favorite teachers, I remember uh, Mrs. Sanya. Uh, she was my physics teacher. So I think I can. Uh, whatever I am today was because she instigated that, that she sowed that beach of love in physics, you love physics. She was the one who made me fall in love with that subject. So that is where it's all started. That is a tragic thing from there. Uh, even, see, it's just a, uh, somebody will tell, I'm a college case teacher, hai, uh, bade honge. but see, it's, like, it's not like that. Even in class 8, 9, if you can capture somebody's imagination, he has, this is something she likes, she, I should encourage her, and you can really ignite, that can really tra change the trajectory of that student. And for me, Mrs. Sangnal, like my, abhi bhi, kabhi bhi, kabhi koi pushta hai ki how you landed here for me, it was always her. Ki she is the one who, uh, I should say, who is responsible for where I am today, why I pursued science, and why I landed up in this particular thing. Along the way, definitely other teachers were also there, but like, it's like always your, like, who is the first person who pushed it on that right, right route. So it's been a wonderful journey for me. And as, well as, we, as I've been introduced, I've been in URSC from 2008. So I've been working in control dynamics right from the beginning. So we deal with satellite attitude control system and uh, uh, mainly for all communication satellite, uh, for uh, remote sensing satellite and all those things. Uh, and I have also been involved with interplanetary satellite, satellite like Mars Orbiter Mission, MOM, you would have heard, and Chandrayaan-2 and Chandrayaan-3. Mainly I worked on Pragya, that is the rover aspect. I was not much involved in uh, the lander. I have been active, I have been a part of the Pragyan team. So today I'm going to just share some of the pictures which were taken by Pragyan on the moon surface and I'll just tell you a brief story about uh, how it was, how it went about. I hope you'll enjoy it. See, this is also like a teacher, like roaming on the moon, you get to know this enigmatic, this de dark, desolate, enigmatic place and that is also a learning experience for us. So it's always great. I mean, I think that way if you tell Everything is a learning experience and the more we learn, the more we soak up, the more we can grow. Otherwise, we'll get stagnated and like, oh, I know everything will never get us anywhere. So, okay, so I'll start with this uh, slide. So, can you just go back uh, on the map? Is there? This is where, uh, as you would have known, uh, Narendra Modi declared that landing point is Shiv Shakti point. So, that is the Shiv Shakti point. So from there, our journey started. On 23rd of uh, August, we landed over there. And from there onward, Pragyan's journey started. And it was there till the 2nd of September. It was an incredible journey. So uh, as far as uh, Pragyan's main objective was to go to different part of the nearby area. It cannot go very far off. It will just roam around. the. It's like a, a lander, ka, lander ke aspas hi usko ghumna hai. And a science team told us we want to see, like you can see these big, big craters are there. So what their objective is, you go close to a crater, you see whether we can, like, there's a lot of curiosity, what all chemicals are there, whether we can find traces of water or not. So main objective was you go to go close to these craters and try to find out what all chemical things which are there. So we started off first, uh, you can see north, south, east, west, we, it is map. This map is there in Twitter also, you can have a look any time. So what we did first, we went to the south and collected sample from one crater over there. Then we went to the east, there also one small crater was there, but unfortunately we could not navigate much over there. So after that, our journey started to go towards this big crater on this side. So as you can see, this is the rover route and how it navigated all the way to the very close to the crater. 
the thing is uh, uh, whenever a crater is formed it will like it's because of an impact a crater has formed so whatever is there has been thrown down so it is very that way it is very perilous to go very close to a crater because there will be a lot of boulders the terrain will be very bumpy so it's a very challenging thing to maneuver a small rover very close to a crater so that itself was a challenge but we really enjoyed it also so next thing so this is a uh, uh, first photo so this is how the crater look from the rover so you can see how big and deep it is it is just a portion of the crater anyway other uh, we have the full thing so this is how how our crater was looking from there so what we did like i was telling you you would always go to one crater have a look and come back so this is a typical how retrace you can see here the tire tracks of the rover it goes there there's a crater in front there he just turns around and do all the sampling and then he retraces back once he's done with all the sampling he has turned and retraced back so same rover has seen its own tire track when it was retracing back so this is one uh, retrace path image which was taken on the 27th of november next so and as we were going towards the big crater we suddenly we decided to yeah we should turn around and have a look at the lander so so that's what uh, that's when this images were captured we just stopped midway turned towards the vikram lander and took this snapshot so these also as you can see you can see the lander very nicely it is uh, this was taken from a bit of a distance and you can see all some of the payloads also in this uh, like some of the scientific instrument which were there on the lander like this chest and ilsa so next so this is another full full blown shot of the lander which was taken by the uh, rover so jaise aap logo ne suna hoga it's like lander is, um, uh, lander is like the mother and the rover is like the baby which is going around the mother and he's just frolicking around and just going around so that is how that analogy has been drawn next so this is how the this is this image is taken from the lander lander also is having cameras so it has taken a image of this uh, rover as it was going around it so next yeah that's it uh, we can we play with the video and that also is it possible enter this yeah so this is how our uh, felder's journey was there he went went we raced uh, against time because the sun was setting so uh, means today the sun has already set and you cannot uh, like uh, rover is having solar power panels to power it so as the sun goes down you don't get much energy so it's like a race against time you go travel fast you travel as much distance and you try to cover as many things as possible so and at the same time Uh, because of the sun movement the shadow of the lander also kept moving so we had to continuously keep moving away from the shadow of the lander we had to follow the sun so there were a lot of challenges and uh, one thing i think it, it has already been declared we i think uh, if you uh, if if you go uh, if you refer to wikipedia chinese uh, rover u2 they covered some 114 meters in uh, uh, almost over a month, period of 6 months Uh, whereas we could cover almost 100 meter in 12 days uh, so it was a uh, so almost like a big achievement for us and uh, like all were teasing us ki you have started a fast and furious series aisa lag raha hai tum log bin diesel ke tarah gaadi chala rahe ho but anyway it was a great experience so i just thought since i'm here i will share whatever it was and and uh, like i said you, uh, as a teacher it's a very big responsibility you should uh, uh, a teacher's job is to spot that potential yes this this uh, this guy this kid has that spark if i nurture him or her definitely he will be able to do better and then i'm sure some 20 years down the line that kid will come to you and say ki sir aapke wajah se main aaj yahan pe hu like i was, for me personally i'm dying to go to my hometown and talk to my physics teacher ki see here i am so all the best and uh, to all the teachers and i hope you enjoy today and uh, keep doing your job thank you
taking a turn. So this is the lander. You can see the ramp of that lander over there. Uh, that is the ramp from which the rover has come down. And you can just replay it. Maybe minimize it, the caption I wanted to do. So. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, it feels as though a child is playfully frolicking in the yards of Chanda Mama while the mother watches it affectionately, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> so that is what for us, uh, we feel like a rover is a baby and Vikram, uh, okay, Vikram, uh, yeah, so like the lander is a mother. So it's like watching it, the kid as it goes around uh, doing its own job. So this is a... Uh, this is a typical rotation, like all this maneuvering we were doing to see where we can go, like we can go next. So you can see the rover going round and round looking for a spot where to go. So this is one thing, I can just scroll down some more video. Just scroll down. So this is the another image that I showed just now of the halfway, midway through the character. We just turned around and took a picture of images of Vikram down. So these are the craters and the retrace path I was just talking about. Down. So this is, uh, yeah. So you can see here, this is the first time we did a good budget uh, path planning. See, it has just rolled down from the ramp and it is slowly going ahead. So, uh, and it's moving and then it is turning so that it, uh, like, it always, always we have to part the rover so that the solar panel gets maximum energy. So, this is how we do a parking maneuver. So, so it was an incredible journey, very hectic. We had a joke that your child is like that, that you don't give your mom to sleep. Because it was 24 bar 7 job. For 12 days, it's round the clock operation. So everybody used to pull our leg. So we also said, yeah, if you're a bad child, then your mom will die. Because it was non-stop. We had to keep moving the rover. Our way from the shadow of the lander, always to move towards sun. So we had to keep moving the rover. Our way from the shadow of the lander, always to move towards sun. So as well as, you see, there are craters and everything you can see over here also. So it's a very perilous journey, but a very adventurous one. And we we enjoyed it a lot. And I hope uh, we, I mean, we have been telling among ourselves, ki, fingers crossed on 22nd September, we'll get to know whether we get another shot at this great journey to explore this, uh, this wonderful place. So, with that, I'll sign off. I hope uh, all the best. I wish you all the best in all your future endeavors. Thank you. Appreciation for our teachers can never be enough, nor be contained, but it can rightly be acknowledged. Be acknowledged. As the much-awaited movement has finally arrived, which is the distribution of Faculty Achievement Awards. For the same, I invite on stage Professor Nimisha Sharma, Director RDC, Research and Development Cell, to take us further with these achievements. So first of all, I would like to take this opportunity to wish everyone present here a very, very happy Teacher's Day. So as all of us know that our university is taking great steps to promote not only research, but also the teaching, learning environment and the whole process in the university. And there are a lot of such initiatives which have been taken in the university, which we are all aware of. There are faculty research grant schemes, there are fellowship for students, we have payment made for membership fee, for article processing charges, and so on and so forth. This year we've started a new scheme which promotes interdisciplinary science and translational research. It's called a STEER. And we hope that we will have more faculty coming forward to apply for the same, and we can actually contribute more towards uh, development of society in terms of products, patents, processes, and so on. So one such initiative that the university has taken and has been going on for years is what we call as the Faculty Achievement Award. And this day is the day we all wait for, for that award. So this award is an effort of the university towards encouraging all of us as faculty to strive for excellence in our academic endeavors. Um, so this award actually is, uh, carries a research grant of one lakh for one year. This award, for this award we invite applications from faculty 
and the applications are evaluated on a lot of parameters which includes the teaching contribution of the faculty, the student feedback, the research contribution, the awards won by the faculty and other such parameters. There are there's a committee of deans uh, which are nominated by the Honorable Vice Chancellor which evaluates the entire, um, uh, looks at all the uh, applications which have been received and then we decide quote unquote the winner. And of course there's always competition at the top spot. So um, without much ado, I would now request our Honorable Vice Chancellor Sir, Professor Dr. Mahesh Verma to please announce the name of the winner. And then I would request our chief guest, Ms. Rima Ghosh, to please felicitate the winner. The Faculty Achievement Award 2023 goes to Dr. M. Shakti Bair from the University School of Law and Legal Studies. that we can come up with some Silver Jubilee Awards. Okay, this year uh, we can institute some more awards. And we, you know, from this year onward, which we can grant to our faculty because uh, just giving one or two awards is not enough. We have a huge uh, chunk of uh, brilliant faculty here. So we can have many more awards. In fact, uh, if possible, we could have a, one award for each school. Okay, so let's do that and every year now these are call them silver jubilee awards name them silver jubilee award which every school we should give one award so that it inculcates a kind of competitiveness and the spirit of you know outdoing each other okay so do that please thank you thank you so now we head towards another achievement award, which is the distribution of IIQAC awards. For this, I invite on stage Professor A.K. Saini sir to take us further. At the very outset, let me wish uh, all of us a very happy Teachers Day. As we all know that uh, the university has been doing uh, reasonably well when you look at the accreditations and ranking uh, in the national scenario. And this year we were uh, fortunate to get uh, the, uh, the ranking of A++, which is the highest for seven years uh, in the third cycle of Besides that, we also figured in the US ranking for the 2024, uh, in the, in, that is about 1400 uh, in the entire world. And uh, NIF ranking also we improved. Uh, we are in the top uh, in the top 74 in the universities in the in the country. So that uh, actually uh, this kind of achievements are not possible uh, over the night. In fact, this includes a lot of efforts by uh, different faculty members and uh, uh, colleagues from different departments, different uh, say sections to contribute because that only helps us to compile the data and present in the best possible way. So uh, we, we have been uh, getting all the support uh, over the years and uh, each year we have to develop this data. So uh, for each school we have constituted teams which actually support us and help us in compiling the data. So we've been traveling and they've been working very hard uh, even uh, sometimes in the evenings also and late night we also contact them because we need to fulfill all those requirements. So as, as a mark of uh, appreciation for this, we uh, we have uh, uh, we are going to appreciate and uh, honor these uh, faculty coordinators who have been working hard, apart from that certain colleagues from the university administration also who will part of this. So I'll be just calling the names of the uh, members. Uh, like, uh, first of all, Professor Varun Joshi, who has been the coordinator of NSS and NCC, which 
did wonderfully well when uh, we were working out uh, for the uh, event. In fact, uh, the escorting team and the guard of honors, which actually was done wonderfully well. So, uh, uh, Professor Varun Joshi also happens to be one of the faculty coordinator from School of Environment. So I would request him to please receive this again. So whenever we came up with some requirements, uh, I think he has been working uh, with his uh, faculty colleagues to get the data and, and provide us with them. of the school which has been uh, participating uh, in, in the law category also. So they have been providing all the data and then only we could really compile the data for the university. So they also deserve a special applause. Dr. Sachin Bharti from School of Mass Communication. Humanities and Social Sciences. Dr. Pratana has also been helping in the NIF ranking the compilation of the data also. from the University School of Education. Okay. I think he's not here. Uh, Dr. Divya Barma and Dr. Shilpa Jain from the School of Management Studies. Dr. Divya has been handling the NIF ranking uh, process also from the School of Management. And Dr. Shilpa helped us in compilation of all the feedback data, both from alumni, students, teachers, and the employers. And all the wonderful reports which we prepared, they were appreciated by the visiting team also. All the best. All the best. Dr. Virendra Vishwakarma from the School of IT, University School of Information and Communication Technology. biggest department which contributed in a big way in the research publications. Dr. Renu Sharma from School of Biotechnology. She has been uh, working very hard for the criteria team also as well as uh, in the uh, school uh, data, she has been putting a lot of efforts. And even uh, even at late night, we were discussing about how can we further improve the data and all that. Congratulations, Dr. S. Mohapatra, from School of Music, Science Center. Vinesh Saha from UCT. Yes. Okay. Dr. Vinesh Saha from UCT. School of Chemical Technology. We have it. Not there. Mr. Suman Sharma from School of Architecture and Planning. We 
also got a huge support from our administration team, especially uh, and just call upon uh, Mr. Shikha Agrawal, the police staff coordinator. She had compilation of all the statutory body minute, uh, the minutes, the updation that has been done uh, with the support of Mr. Shikha Agrawal. She has been working directly uh, for that. Vandana Singh, Associate Director of DSW. She, she has done a compilation of all the pictures which were supposed to be geotagged. She did that. It was a huge chunk of photographs which we need to edit it. Thank you. 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 We also have certain uh, supporting the staff from the administration also which really helped and they've been working. Actually, Manoj Kumar Sharma. Saurabh Mishra, Mr. Ajit Kutab, and Mr. Jitendra Kumar. In fact, they have been working in the back end, working till late nights, helping us to upload the data so that this data is accessible and whenever we have any problems, so that this data is up updated and up uploaded in time and easily accessible by the NAC team. program, I would request Honorable Vice Chancellor Sir to felicitate our Chief Guest of the Day for her kind presence that she has bestowed upon us. you all on behalf of all of your students for the value that you bring to this institution, the society and our lives. With these words, I invite on stage Dr. Raghav Talan, Associate Director DSW, Dr. Gaurav Talan, Associate Director DSW, to present the vote of thanks. For you, with deep honor, I extend my heartfelt gratitude at the Today's event has been nothing short of sublime. I think I'm loud enough. I can without the microphone. Okay. Yeah, it's fine now. So today's event has nothing has been nothing short of sublime, and it is with immense gratitude that I express our appreciation. First and foremost, I extend our sincere thanks to our esteemed chief guest, Ms. Vima Ghosh. We are truly touched by your generosity in sparing time from your busy schedule to grace us with your presence today, ma'am. Your presence, ma'am, has added immense value to this occasion, and we thank you wholeheartedly. I would also like to express our gratitude to our Honorable Vice Chancellor Padam Shri Professor Mahesh, Dr. Professor Dr. Mahesh Parma. Your humble presence and unwavering guidance have been instrumental in propelling our university to new heights. Today's event is a testament to your constant support, and for that, we are immensely thankful. Our gratitude extends to the deans, directors, and faculty members from all university school of studies who have honored us with, the, with their presence. Each faculty member here today 
has contributed to the richness of this event and we appreciate your involvement. A special note of appreciation goes to the entire teams of UWD, GA, security and sanitation branches for their invaluable contributions in ensuring the success of this event. We extend warm thanks to Professor Manpreet Kaur Khan, Dr. Vandana Singh, Neeraj Ji and the dedicated staff and officials of the Directorate of Students Welfare who have been unwavering pillars of support throughout this journey. Our talented students have graced this event with their beautiful performances and we are truly thankful for their contributions. We also acknowledge the contribution of the auditorium team and support staff for their assistance whenever we required it. Last but not the least, a heartfelt thank to all the audiences who have made this day even more special with their cooperation. Your presence and participation have added to the success and joy of today's event. Thank you all for being an integral part of this blissful occasion. In conclusion, I extend my gratitude to everyone who has played a role in making this event a resounding success. Your collective efforts and presence have made this day truly unforgettable. Thank you once again and may we continue to celebrate such moments of togetherness in the futures and the times to come also. At last, I wish you all a very happy Teachers Day. Apologies if I messed up a few spellings and numbers because I'm also very overwhelmed in front of all of my teachers. Um, in conclusion, I request everyone to please proceed for lunch towards the cafeteria of Main Audi. Thank you everyone for gracing the event with your kind presence. It was a wonderful time with you all. Thank you.